Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Seneca and today I thought it might be kind of interesting to walk you guys through how I take lecture notes for my classes. For those of you that are new here, I'm a third year at UC Berkeley and I study molecular and cell biology. So I take my lecture notes on an iPad. Here my iPad is, it is just the iPad 7th generation, the one that you can get for the cheapest at Costco and it is definitely revolutionized the way that I take notes. When COVID started, I was lucky enough to be able to purchase this and I've really enjoyed playing around with different apps, different, you know, writing styles, different ways of taking notes, and I think that I've finally gotten mine down to a science, no pun intended. So definitely excited to just show you guys through that. Definitely like this video and subscribe for more content from me and comment down below if you find this video helpful any questions you have or apps that I should try on my iPad. Without any further ado, let's get into it. So first up, I'm just going to pull up my course website. We use the website Piazza for this class. It kind of depends on the class, the school, all of that good stuff. This class, they give you a blank outline of everything that that lecture is going to cover. It usually has a ton of different like diagrams, different definitions, things written in that can be very helpful. And one of the advantages of having an iPad is that you can annotate a PDF directly. So the next thing that I do is I take this lecture note from Piazza and then I upload it to the app GoodNotes, which I've talked about a few times on here. That is the app that I use to do all of my lecture notes, annotate any PDFs or lecture slides. I find that it is definitely very versatile and it has all the tools that I personally want when I'm taking notes. So it's really easy to do that because iPad and GoodNotes work very well together, so I just click the export button and then open in GoodNotes and it will create a PDF in the GoodNotes app for you so that you can then go and put it into a folder for your class, write on it, all of that good stuff. So that will be there. So now that I have that PDF pulled up in GoodNotes, I'm going to just pull up one of my other notebooks in GoodNotes. And this is the one that I actually use to take notes. Personally, I find that the act of writing all the words that the professor says really helps me solidify the information in my head rather than simply annotating the PDF. As I watch my lecture, I'm going to be writing all of my notes in that first notebook that I showed with all of the blank pages and kind of highlighting things that I think are important, being able to change the colors of the pen, all of that good stuff. But because I am in a major that largely relies on diagrams to convey information, I honestly like to be able to use my iPad to copy pieces of information, be it a diagram, a table, all of that good stuff, and paste it directly into my lecture notes document. This is just really helpful because otherwise I would be spending way too much time trying to draw out a cell every time I want to be able to point out a specific organelle or a specific pathway mechanism, all of that good stuff. So I find that it's really helpful to be able to just take selectively the parts of the PDF that they provide that I want and then integrate it into the organization system of lecture notes that works best for me when I'm reviewing them later for exams. So I'll just show you guys right now, I'm just starting the lecture and on the very first page of my lecture notes PDF, as you can see, there is a large diagram of reactant concentration over time specifically just a review of rate laws, all of that good stuff. So I can easily just cut that out and paste it into my lecture notes, which I'll show right here. So for the GoodNotes app specifically, you take the lasso tool, and then for me it's helpful to zoom in just so that I don't get any background of that note, and I'll cut it out by outlining it with the lasso tool, outlining the image that I want, and then you're gonna click just right in the middle and click take screenshot. So what I usually do is I will copy the image and then I'm going to go into my lecture notes document and paste the image. And then that way I have the diagram ready to go. I can annotate it. I can add notes to it if I want. And I don't have to be frantically drawing as my professor is talking. And now I am just going to be watching my lecture video on my computer while taking notes on my iPad.
So there are three different pen colors that I use and that is the blue, navy blue, the um, black, and the white pen colors. And this way I can really easily like switch because if I want to make a special note, sometimes I'll write it in blue just so it stands out a little bit more. I don't like my lecture notes to be too colorful just because I feel like then I get really distracted and sometimes it can be harder to read. So usually I'll go with black being my primary color, navy blue being kind of an accent color for annotating, adding a special note, and then I use the white pen color when I'm writing on slides that have a dark background just so that it's easier for me to see when I'm reading through it. And then I also do a lot of highlighting as you guys might have noticed. My primary three highlighter colors are actually pink, green, and blue. So the blue is for, again, those lecture headings so that I can easily flip between lectures and see when one ends and the next one starts. And then green is kind of my color that I use throughout my lectures to highlight subsections, to go through when I'm highlighting diagrams, sometimes I'll do green. And then pink is actually what I use when the lecture is going too fast for me, when it's a live lecture, and I know that I need to go back and watch the recorded version. So I'll just scribble a bunch of pink. You also might have seen me use a little bit of yellow highlighting. I also do use yellow quite a lot. This one's more for things that are important for my homework, things that the le lecturer has mentioned could be on an exam, or examples. So as you can see, we have an example in the lecture notes I'm just working on with a man Antinib um, binding to able kinase and so I highlight that in yellow because I know that that's something that I'm likely to forget when I'm reviewing general concepts and I want to make sure that I have those examples just tucked away in the back of my mind because most of my lecturers are really into examples and they want to make sure that when they're testing they're testing real world applications so it's always just important to note those things down. Other than that, I definitely like to keep things pretty simple and clean so that when I'm reviewing, I don't get too distracted by all of the different colors and all of that. I think I'm going to end this video here. I am just going to finish these lecture notes, but I don't want to bore you guys with a super long time lapse. I hope that you guys enjoyed kind of seeing how I structure my notes and that this might have given you a little inspiration if you're new to iPad and you're learning how to take notes on it or if you just wanted to learn how to spice up your notes a little bit. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more college, studying, motivational content, all of that good stuff. I hope that you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.